Today we're going to be doing part two of solving rational equations. Uh, once again, remember that we need to find the least common denominator of, of the of, of fractions in our rational equation, and then we're going to multiply both sides by that least common denominator, and then solve the resulting equation. We have to make sure, though, that uh, to reject any solution that makes the denominator equal to zero. You might recognize that on the uh, right side, we uh, have 4x squared minus 9. You might recognize that as a difference of two squares. And what we have learned in the past, so when you have a difference of two squares, like 4x squared, which is 2x squared, we could put the 2x on each side, uh, in each factor. And 9 is 3 squared, so we could put minus 3 and plus 3 in that denominator all over with 18x in the numerator, and now it might become a little bit clearer what the least common uh, denominator is, and it's, it is clearly 2x minus 3 times 2x plus 3. If we multiply both sides of this equation by 2x minus 3 times uh, 2x plus 3, we will be able to eliminate both denominators. So why don't we try that, and I'll just change some colors to make it a little bit clearer. So we have 2x minus 3 times 2x plus 3 times our original uh, e fraction, which is x plus 3 over 2x minus 3 equals 2. And on the right side, we had 18x over 2x minus 3 times 2x plus 3. And now we want to multiply it by 2x minus 3 times 2x plus 3. Because in any equation, if you do something to one side, you must do it to the other side to keep the equality. So once again, we're going to multiply the right side of the equation by 2x minus 3 times 2x plus 3. Now, it might be clear to you, or might not, but uh, that some things could be canceled. Notice that the 2x minus 3 and the 2x minus 3 in the denominator here can be canceled. And on the right side, we notice 2x minus 3 and 2x minus 3 can be canceled. 2x plus 3 and 2x plus 3 can be canceled. And that would uh, re eliminate all of our denominators. If we continue on the left side, we finally get... 2x plus 3 times x plus 3. On the right side, all we have is 18x. Let's give ourselves some more room. Okay. So now let's multiply out all these uh, factors. Using FOIL, we say 2x times x is 2x squared. 2x times 3 is 3x. 3 times x. Um, I, I did make a mistake. You could see that. 2x times 3 is 6x. So let's fix that mistake. And then 3 times x is 3x. And 3 times 3 is 9. On the right side, we still have 18x. Let's combine like terms. Notice that we have 6x and 3x, so we get 9x there, 2x squared, plus 9x, plus 9 equals 18x. You might recognize this as a quadratic equation, so we want to set one side equal to 0, so move the 18x over to the other side by subtracting 18x from each side, and you get 2x squared minus 9 x plus 9 is equal to 0. Okay, let's give ourselves some more room. And now we either are going to have to use a quadratic uh, e equation, um, or we can factor this. Some of you might remember we had a screencast on foolproof factoring, and you might recognize that this can be factored. We will go into the details, but it is factored into 2x minus 3 times x minus 3 equals 0. 
And those of you who remember this from solving quadratic functions, um, when two numbers, when two factors multiply together equals zero, that means one or both of them are equal to zero. So we set each factor equal to zero. And solve. So on the left side, we get 2x equals 3. And that means x is equal to 3 halves. On the right side, we get x equal to 3. So those are two possible answers. And now we need to uh, check each one. We want to make sure that the denominator is not equal to 0. And so let's get our original equation. And presto change, oh, there it is, magically appearing. So now let's substitute x equals 3 halves into this. Um, if we go to the left side first, which is all we're going to have to do, because you'll see what happens. If you substitute 3 halves for x in the numerator and 3 halves for x in the denominator, look what happens. The numerator, we'll just leave that alone for the moment. But notice the denominator, 2 times 3 halves. Notice the 2's cancel out. You're left with 3 minus 3, which means we're going to get 3 halves plus 3 in the numerator, but 0 in the denominator, and that's got to be rejected because you cannot have a solution which gives us a 0 in the denominator. So 3 halves is rejected. Let's put that right up here. Reject. Poor 3 halves. It's a reject. And now let's uh, try x equal 3. Same, th same idea. So we, on the left side, we'll substitute 3 for x. So we get 3 plus 3 in the numerator. 2 times 3 minus 3 in the denominator. On the other side, you have 18 times 3. And in the denominator, you have 4 times 3 squared minus 9. Notice neither denominator is going to be equal to 0. On the left side, we get 6 over 6 minus 3, which is 6 over 2 or 3. On the right side, we get 54 over um, 4 times 3 squared minus 9, uh, which is 36 minus 9, which gives us 54 over 27. And 54 divided by 27 is 2. By the way, you might have seen the, seen the mistake I made. I wrote a 2 here. That was a mistake. Clearly, 6 minus 3 is a 3. And 6 divided by 3 is a 2. Excuse, I'm not, excuse me, I'm not perfect. And so there we go. But left side is equal to 2. The right side is equal to 2. The solution is good. So we have one solution. X is equal to 3 is our solution. And we are done. Thank you. And now it's your turn. So we want you to solve this uh, rational equation. And what you should do if you have any trouble, go back, rewind the screencast, look at the steps, follow them carefully, then come back and try to do your problem. Good luck, and see you again next time.